Tell me what's extreme, a slaughterhouse or vegans? Uh, vegans are way more extreme, come on! Oh, are you the animals advocate? When did they hire you to defend them? You, you don't think you killing is extreme? Uh, very aggressive in the way you put your um, commentaries and this is why people are less no, no, willing no, no. to listen and to no, like no. empathize with what you Shooting say because animals is aggressive you told me you're never gonna stop I'm never gonna stop but you're not gonna reduce and you're never gonna stop I love it so I love it talk, it's two different things uh. all right so we're out here in Covent Gardens we've got a table here it says why on earth aren't you vegan we're gonna ask some people why they aren't vegan. Let's go. Debate time. Come on. Don't be shy. You know you want to. I think even this question here, it might plant a seed in someone's mind. I know it seems small and like trivial, but it is a good question. Like, why aren't you vegan? It might be a little question that leads them on to a journey of discovery. You see in the sign, you were very smiley. <laughs> and I said, hey, why aren't you vegan? And you said you eat lots of meat? Yeah, I love meat. You love meat? <laughs> yes. I used to eat a lot of meat and I yeah. used to have it on my plate and I couldn't imagine not eating it. Yeah. It used to freak me out actually. I used to think, what am I going to eat if I don't eat meat? That's like, it used to make me okay. scared. But I'm not that extremist. Like, oh really? Yeah. So you're not scared not to eat meat? No. What, so why do you eat it? Why do you eat meat? To be honest, I, I eat meat for two like, reasons. Main reasons. Yeah. I do like the taste of it. Taste? And the texture and everything. Taste and texture? Yeah. And the second thing is, there are certain like nutrients that I can get easily from meat. I know you can get them somewhere else, but... You, it's, think, it's, you think it's more bioavailable or something in meat? Uh, yes. Okay. And uh, what, what are those nutrients? For example, I know omega-3, you can get it from fish or meat. Um, you can, there, there's lots of iron, lots of like other... Iron. iron from blood? Yes. Do you know that iron is in their blood? Yes. But you can get iron from the steak as well, for example. Yeah, Red yeah. meat. Yeah, but the, the iron, heme iron, is blood iron. Oh, well, my, my husband's a biologist. He, he will know more Your husband's than me. a biologist? Yes. Like human <laughs> biologist? Uh, yes. So how do you feel about getting iron from blood? The uh, blood of an, an animal that was killed? I'm okay with it as long as uh, I do try and make sure that I get, like, meat that's, like, sustainably sourced. And I know that some people will say, oh, but you cannot just say you killed an animal and then it's sustainable. I could make the claim to killing humans, couldn't I? It's pretty sustainable to kill humans. I mean, uh, I, I then comes back down to more philosophical questions like, do you think that killing a whole human and killing like a chicken is the same thing? Well, they don't have to be the same to both be bad. Now we're here. Yes. I like this place here. <laughs> so, so nutrients, we don't really have to go into nutrients because you know you can get them from elsewhere. Like, uh, you're not eating meat to survive. Technically. I know some people that went vegan. Are you eating meat to survive? Because I want to address this, what's the difference between killing a human and an animal? Okay, so I don't eat meat to actually survive because I think you, I know people that survive without meat. Do you think I eat meat? I don't know. Do you think I eat meat? You cannot just look at someone and think, <laughs> well, if I eat meat or not. Just based on the sign. To be honest, I thought it was more like, oh, why are you not vegan? You shouldn't be vegan in the first place. Oh, <laughs> you <laughs> thought I was anti-vegan. <laughs> Oh god, that's extremist vegan. Where did I get myself I'm into? I'm level 1000 vegan. Oh god. I'm the most vegan vegan you ever going to meet. The good thing is I'm not extre extreme meter. Okay, you're so not extreme meter. No. So you're not going to beat me up or anything? No. no yeah, okay. Are you? No, 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 of okay. course not. Can we establish whether or not you're eating meat to survive or you think you're eating meat to survive? I haven't tried, so I haven't survived without meat. Okay. So I'm going to assume that I'm surviving so let's just on say, meat. Let's just say you can get iron, B12, or what was it? What, what, what was your nutrients? Iron and you had omega-3. Uh, nah, yes. Yeah, you got to be very mean because I know omega-3 comes from fish mainly. But where yeah. do the fish get the omega-3 from? How do the fish get it in their body? Oh my god, you're going there. Yeah, okay. How do they get it? I don't know. They eat algae from the... It's not the same thing. Diet. You know, for example, when you eat uh, meat, sometimes it's the animal eats the, let's say, the, the greens, plants. plants, and they process it into something that sometimes human body that cannot process it into. EPA, DHA? I don't know. Don't, okay, don't, we don't, don't come with the technicals, please. There are, there are algae-based supplements that we can eat, so we bypass the fish. If you can have supplements that will replace all the things that you can get from animals, that means that you cannot have like a very complete diet without the supplements. Only one, B12. Yeah. 
B12 is one that you need to supplement. The yes. rest can be obtained by diet. You should supplement with vitamin D if it's winter in, in a cloudy country. Okay. So yes, I, I do agree with supplements. Do you disagree with supplements? I agree that you should get as much as... <laughs> yeah, you should get as Wait much Wait around, as... we want to have a debate. <laughs> you want to have a debate? Don't, come on, don't you. come here. Yeah, we can. Oh. I, I'll debate my prison life with you. Oh my gosh. I'm open about it. Okay. <laughs> if you can get it from foods, I'd rather get something from food than from but supplements. Why, why do you have a problem with supplements? Because, why do you have a problem with, like, meat? Because you're cutting an animal's head off and killing them. Uh, supplements, you're probably paying a lot, like, pharma companies and big companies to no. produce that. Yes. No, no, no. Do you think, like, your local store from next door will, will produce yeah. supplements? Yeah. Okay, where do you buy your supplements from? Holland and Barrett. Yeah, that's pharmacy. your next door. <laughs> Yeah, there's plenty of Holland and Barrett's around or the internet. So like wait a second, you don't use medicine? I try not to, to be honest. So and you can laugh yeah. about it. But what, what, I'm saying, what I'm saying is, is not you, you don't go to the dentist, any... you don't use technology, you do everything from nature, like eating... I try as much as I can, especially yeah, what I put inside my body. I Come will on, take medicine you. if I, I, I am ill. If you and have I, a headache, do you take a Panadol? That's what I'm saying. What I'm, like, okay. No, if so I'm you, ill, I'll have medicine. So why wouldn't you do it I to supplements? I won't insert okay. supplements on my daily basis just because. Okay, let me ask you this. This yeah. is good. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting here. Because <laughs> I will take, if I have a headache, I will Fair, take medicine. Me too. If I need B12, I don't want to murder an animal <laughs> to get that B12. <laughs> oh, I love this because you're very extremist. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. It's murder to kill an it's animal. It's not a murder. So do you think a lion is a murderer because he's killing the, the view? I think it's the act of killing an animal with it, if they don't want to die is murder. Yes. So a lion is a murderer. I don't think a, a lion. A shark is a murderer. No, one sec. One sec. You're going very extremist because not. A, You're every, not a shark I, or a lion, so you have morals. No. Oh, okay. But I didn't kill the salmon. You paid someone to kill them. I didn't kill it. You paid someone to kill them. If I pay someone to kill you, am Ooh, I responsible? La, la. Depends. If you're saying that killing like a cow and killing me is the same thing, maybe you are. No, no, we, we're back here. Yeah. So, so remember we said this at the start, the mm -hmm. chicken and the human. This is yeah. good. So basically, you're going, you're going well. You're, you're back here to this. What's <laughs> yes. the difference? You are getting B12 or yeah. iron, right? You have to raise an animal in a farm. <laughs> yes. Kill that animal, Ooh, and they yes. don't want to die yeah, because yeah. They're, at that they're sentient, conscious experience. You're, you're yeah. killing them, yeah. so you can get a nutrient or vitamin that you can get from a supplement very easily, yeah. But you or food. Do you think it's morally justified to kill an animal to get something out of their blood? Yes. Instead of taking, when you can easily take a supplement or get it from plants. You know that it's there, and I'm not a scientist, so I don't know the facts behind it like very clearly. clearly but I, I, I'm interested in this, and when I can, I can substitute. For example, I try to eat less meat. Uh, I know that most meats are not produced in a sustainable way, so I don't. But in terms of the killing, like you're saying, why would you try to eat less meat? You need it for your supplements. Yes, but you can balance your diet. Why would you eat stuff. less meat? Why do you eat less meat? Do you think it's bad? Yes, for the environment, because the way they produce it, not because the meat itself is the way they produce okay, the meat. Okay, but wait a second. So everyone's eating meat. Let's just say for your reason, for supplements, yeah. it's destroying the environment. Is that justified? When you can have a supplement? Everyone's eating meat so they can get these vitamins. It's destroying the earth. Yeah. Do you think that's justified so we can get these vitamins? Or would you say, if the earth was about to be destroyed, should we have a supplement? If the world is about to be destroyed, we should have, we a, should have a pill instead of eating okay. all together. Let me propose like this. like okay. one pill that replaces all the food. We don't need to because plant foods are fine. We just we're growing all the plants to feed to animals. That's not true. You know that. No, no, yeah. We are. You, you, you know, like that single like cultural like when you have like this whole plot of land that you're just producing one thing over and over again because Monocrop. everyone now I know what it's, I know what you're talking about uh, most of the monocrops are fed yes, to animals monocrops no not really yes, you, you have like this like extensive no, no. places for example they produce avocado because it's now the new hot thing in our like millennials want do you to eat, eat avocado? avocado I do eat avocado so what's your problem with it there are a lot of people that get killed because of avocados in Mexico and this is not talked about so, eat, am I so you shouldn't be eating avocado you should be only eating plants that you plant in your backyard you're suggesting that everyone Everyone needs to grow food in their backyard to be ethical? No, I'm saying you. No, 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 so no, the no, way no, no. you are saying no, no. it, because you I'm are not 100% sure that all the vegetables you're getting from the shop are like uh, morally sustainable. 
you're just assuming because you're buying probably the logo that's organic. Organic just says that they don't use pesticides and I don't stuff buy like organic. that. I don't know, but I'm just saying the vegetables, you're just buying them, assuming that they're better than the okay. meat. But the vegetables, a lot of people get like One smuggled second. and uh, trafficked to work. Like Evidence? Evidence. I'm not yeah. a scientist. I don't. Ke I so, didn't so, came here like with the. So if you show me, yeah. right, yeah. enough evidence yes. that a certain vegetable yeah. is rife with slavery, mm -hmm. then I will say, yeah, well, we should boycott Stop. that vegetable. Okay. If, if people are getting shot in the head <laughs> and cut up into pieces for you a know. steak, <laughs> then I would say that's just as bad. But let me let me just propose this to yes. you because you, now you're saying plant foods are immoral and I need to grow no, a garden. No, I'm not saying it's immoral. I'm saying is no, no, no. you are just Most assuming the, that the, the meat is immoral and anything else is great. No, I never said that. It's not One true. second. I it's didn't say that it's, it's much as well. Worse. You're putting words in my mouth, it's but okay. I do the same. You say, I didn't say that. Okay, let me just say this to you. Most of the plants on Earth, yeah. plant, most of the farmland, yeah. is been used for animals. Yeah. 83% of the world's farmland. I don't know. Are you're saying I, I, I will believe okay. you because well, you're an extremist. <laughs> yeah, I understand Shooting an mean. animal for a nutrient, yes. for a vitamin, is yeah. extreme. Yeah. Me shooting you so I can get, you have B12 and iron, I'm and not the same as a, like a cow. No, no, no. You, you're not no, making sense no, of your, your I'm argument. I'm saying you are the same as a cow. Yeah. But the things that matter about me, you, and an animal are what I care about. Like experience. They don't want to die. They suffer. They feel pain. They want to live. Does a cow right. have moral value? I don't know. I don't know Do any you care cows. About an, are you against animal cruelty? Yes. Why? If, they, if you don't care about them? Because I think you should. You say, if, you're comparing a cow to a human. Do you agree that there's a, like a food chain? Are you, a, do you, are you comparing I, a cow to a human? Why do you care about them? I don't compare a cow to a human. Is it wrong? However, I I think that we as a human that like are on the top of the chain. You in a food, food chain. chain? Yes. Wait. Um, you wait. Food wait. Food chain. Yes. Natural. Food chain. You're in nature like a lion. Here we yeah. Go. Doesn't matter. Uh, you have a food chain, and we eat like cows. Ca uh, cows eat plants, for example. But we eat, Do you another... eat gorillas. I don't eat gorillas. Do you eat, uh, but I would eat them if they put them out there to Do you eat. Eat elephant. I would eat them if you they eat put a monkey? them. Yeah, I would. Shoot a monkey and eat them. It's very. What if you had a vegan product? It's very hypocritical for someone that eats meat to say I will eat a cow, but I won't eat like a dog or a cat. I so, think it's very so hypocritical. So if I cut a dog's head off and uh, fry them up, would you no, eat them? I preferential. I wouldn't eat them because it's, I grew up to learn that dogs are like companions. And they're part of the food chain. I agree, that's why I'm saying it's hypocritical if someone tells you they won't eat it for sure, but they will eat the cow. I won't eat it because I'm not used to it, it's not in my culture, but so I won't judge chain? anyone that eats it. What is the food chain? Tell me. I, I believe that the smaller, very simply, the smaller will eat, a, eat the big, the bigger one will eat the smaller one. So it's okay for the big animals to eat us? The pe if, if they can, why not? So can I feed you to a bigger animal? You're not... That's the a food is, chain. The, no. You don't want to die, do you? Uh, that's very you don't so, want to be food, do that, you? That is very tricky of you. And I you don't, don't think, want to be food, do you? I don't you? think you're even here so. for discussion. You're just here to, no, no, to no. make your point. I think food chain is a natural if, thing. If you feed me to... It's not... It I came... If there's a lion here and it, it kills someone, would it's one to, thing. Would you, would you want me to kill the lion to stop him from eating yes, you? because I think... So, so why should human, we stop you from eating the cow? A human life is more... For me, it's, it's more like worthy than a cow's life. I'm sorry. And Does that mean we can kill the cow? For eating, yes. Why? If I'm Just because you want a, a burger? No, because so it, you it's... Can, you, <laughs> now we can kill animals because you want a burger. Oh, I, lo okay. I love it. I love it because this is literally... So English is not my first, la first language and I just learned... very well. Thank you. Um, um, I've learned this expression. I think this is what you're doing. You're just using like a straw man argument. No, no. Yes, you're saying that I'm killing the, the, no, no, like a whole cow you know what for one is? burger. I heard about, I read about, yes. Killing a cow so you can have a burger. Of course a cow has it's, to... It's silly because I'm not just going to have a burger. I think, for example, what's morally incorrect... What are you going to have? If you kill a, a cow just to have one burger, it's wrong. If you kill a cow and you use all the parts of the cow to feed loads of people, I don't think it's wrong. Why I not? just... But how does a cow feel about that? I don't, I don't know how... Do you speak to cows? Did they tell you they feel bad? Why do you, how do you know that, that animal... Why is animal cruelty wrong? Because it's human... Can you speak to the cow? No. So how do you know it's wrong? My idea of what's wrong is... So it's only wrong to you? It, no, it's not wrong it's to the cow? Human, it's a living being that deserves being treated well. Even though okay. they're being okay. raised to eat, I can like it's, it's, raise hands and feed them to my way, family. No, no, not, not hell, but, not or cows, let's say. Let's because say. Is it, is it wrong? Why are you more attached to cows than hands? Do no, you have anything about, about hands? No, no, I don't eat hens either. I think birds are beautiful. 
I wouldn't eat one. Oh, shame on you. They're delicious. Shame on me for not killing the birds. I don't kill them. Actually, I just buy them you like already some, killed and I just You pay someone to them. kill them? Yeah, kind of, yeah. You, you pay someone to kill the birds? The same way you kill someone, you pay someone to get your harvest, your broccoli. So what? Yeah, so what? It's the What's same. What's the matter with broccoli? <laughs> What's the matter with chicken? I love them. Broccoli is not a sentient, conscious being that doesn't want to die. Until, as far as you know, are you, I don't know. Are you making the claim that broccoli is a conscious being? Bring it on. And your partner's a biologist? I don't know. I'm I, just saying I, I don't know. Ask your partner if a broccoli has a brain. Yes. And, and a nervous system. And now you're going to hate me because he is all of, like, he is for animal testing because now you're going to hate me now. No, no. Oh, okay. I think that what you do is just as bad or worse than animal testing because oh, you're eating more and killing more animals. Okay. Than yeah. animal testing, by far. 70 to 80 billion land animals yeah. are being slaughtered every year mm -hmm. and between one and three trillion marine animals. Yes. You know, I'm going to tell how you... Many, the, how many crop but, deaths are there? How many... How bad is plants compared to that? And you know we have to feed all those animals plants. Yes. So if you think plants, eating plants is bad, you would stop eating animals. The only reason... Because most of the plants are fed to animals. Woohoo! The only reason I, for example, I thought of, okay, I'm going to reduce the amount of meat I eat is because I know of like the danger and the harm the environment like suffers because of people producing meat in like excessive ways. And I think it is excessive the way we eat meat nowadays. I don't dis disagree with that. The thing I'm saying is there are ways of producing not only meat, but vegetables, because as I told you, the same like the monocrops is also bad for the earth I already earth told you most lamb. of the monocrops are being fed to animals. And I already told you I don't agree with that. I know that. But you eat animals. So if you're against monocrops, grains. you should stop eating animals. I but don't agree because there's lo loads of like so land that are producing why just Why do you eat chickens? Because I love them. I don't want to jump Tasty. to topic. So I thought it was because of nutrients. Nutrients as well, yes. What nutrients do you get out of a chicken? All the protein I need. You can't get protein from other plants? Do you think that I can get the same amount of protein from plants than I can get from like... 100%. 100% of the same can. amount. Absolutely you can. How much broccoli do I have to eat to have the same protein I get in a chicken? Why would you compare broccoli to it? I'm talking about... I don't know. You're chicken. attached to cows. I'm attached to broccoli. Sorry. Seitan, um, which is... Uh, seitan. Do you know what seitan is? Yeah. Okay, that is 75% protein. Wow. And chicken breast is about how much? How much? How much of that do you have to eat to compare to like less, a, less, a steak of chicken? Less. A steak of chicken. No, uh, chicken breast. Chicken 100 grams of uh, uh, seitan flour has 75 grams of protein. Okay, I don't know how much. So like, why, why would you? So you're saying like even let's just say you had to eat more. Yeah. To, how much protein do you need a day? Uh, I know how much do I have to eat. Do you do weights? Are you an athlete? Yeah, I train a lot. You train a lot? Yeah. So how much protein do you have to eat a day? My personal training does the clown, the mats. I just know the amount. So I have like 125 grams of like chicken breast. I have two eggs for breakfast, and then I have yo protein yogurt for lunch and for snacks. So I don't know how much protein exactly that is, but I know well, you that should. most of the. Pro that's why I pay a professional. I I should so know you all got the your statistics. Diet no, I should know all the statistics that you know. But because this is your job to convince me to become vegan, you know the statistics and I don't. And this is how it works. I cannot know everything that I should know. I, uh, well, so should back you, to that. Yeah, yeah. I eat, get you, most you, of my protein from animal sources. Even then, I told her I want to reduce the amount of meat I eat in a week. So, for example, I eat meat three times, four times a week. The other days I try to replace it with other things. I'm not sure I get, I'm getting the same amount of protein I should be, but I, I'm willing to sacrifice that. The overall, what I want to say is... You're willing to sacrifice it I really To eat less meat? Yes. But you won't sacrifice it to be vegan for the animals? Because I won't get the amount of protein But But you said, I no, need. no, you said... Uh, so I'm willing protein. to sacrifice so if some, you, if you some meals Let me of ask you this. If you could get enough protein, would you stop killing the animals? There's the, you don't remember this, the first thing I told you, the first component. I really like it and enjoy you said it. said taste? Yeah. And we can get to that, but if you could get enough nutrients and protein, if yeah. you found that out. Yes. Would I would you, reduce. Was that, I won't stop. I will reduce. Okay, no, no. So I you would reduce stop. to that. Now, 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 the only thing holding you back yes. is you like the taste. This is why the I think you're defending it. taste and the texture. It. This yeah. is why I think you're, you're defending it more. Um, Maybe. Yeah. So do you think that your taste... You taste is a pleasure experience that you get. Yeah. And when you eat, it's only for 10 minutes, 15 minutes maybe. How long does it take for you to finish your meal? Usually I, it takes me five, 30 minutes to 45 minutes because I eat very slow. Okay, and what happens to the animals so you can have 30 minutes of, of satisfaction? Taste mm. 
I don't know, to be honest. Okay. I so know that they have to be killed. No, 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 that's not. Unless it's lobsters, because my mom cooked them alive. You're going to hate me for this. Well, sorry. I don't. I think you're quite pleasant to be around and Thank quite you. entertaining and got a, a nice smile. <laughs> Thanks. I do think what you're, you're justifying, if you knew the depths of it, because um, if you knew exactly what you were trying to justify, you would probably feel a little bit like uncomfortable about it. Yeah. I have witnessed um, the farming practices in the UK for many years. Yeah. Most of the animals here are factory farms. Uh, over 95% of the chickens are in factory farms and they're born into Frankenstein bodies yeah, and they yeah, fall on yeah, their faces yeah. and die in the sheds often. Yeah, there's, a yeah, yeah. Yes. there's a 4% death rate. I'm and just going to stop you there and say one thing. This is where lots of vegan people that have good intention lose people when they start like shouting facts that are just too like like you, overwhelming. You, okay. And you lost me for 30 seconds there. I just heard 4% okay. of something. Do you think the chickens suffer in these farms? I do think. And That's how, why I try to reduce the And how much the do you think they suffer? I don't know. I cannot quantify their suffering. Okay. For that bird. Not, yeah. not from, from your perspective, from the bird's perspective. Try to put yourself in the animal's position. And they are born into innocence. They don't know where they are. Yeah, I understand. And their body I, is I growing really yeah. fast and there's yeah, thousands yeah, of birds around them. I understand where you're going. And they become lame because yeah. they're growing too yeah. fast. And they are... So do you think that suffering is bad for them? Of course it is. Okay. You, I'm telling you, this is the only reason I'm reducing the amount of meat I eat. It's because I think they are not raised in a proper way and... You never said that. You originally said it was for sustainability. Yes, it, it's not so sustainable I, the way they raise changing, them. Now you're changing it to, you wanna... No, no, no. I don't, when I say it's sustainability, I think it's not sustainable the way you, they grow them. You have to be putting more antibiotics into your body because they're more and more crowded and more... That's not sustainable. It's not morally correct, but it's not sustainable as well. You cannot continue to... to talk about ethics, because if you were suffering, I'd be more concerned about your welfare oh, and, and, you. and I wouldn't want you to be shot in the head and eaten either. Oh, thank you. You know what I mean? But I don't think you afford that same compassion to the animals that you eat. Yeah, and I eat. try. So you I don't. I'm, you I don't. might be very ignorant you, in what I'm saying. I don't think you try at all, actually. I don't think you've considered this to this conversation. That's fine. And this is, again, where you... Vegan people, a little bit of effort is not enough. And this is where you lose people because you, you, people are no, trying you, to do a little bit, and you're like, "This is not enough. You are mean because no, you're no, killing no, no, them." No, 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 no. I said you get. You told me you get most of your protein from animals. I do, but still, I told you, and you did. So you disregarded this that I'm trying to eat less meat, and you straight went to shooting people, uh, animals in no, the head. No, because most people so, say that, and most people eat meat three times a day, or eggs, no, or I cheese, don't eat, or, me, or I don't. milk. Thank you, but. He's defending the chickens. Yes, I could have killed it, but yeah. I didn't see. I have morals. You even won't kill the fly. But I you'll eat, kill. Yeah, did you Maybe see? if you're going to eat the fly and the fly tastes If someone killed it. it for me, I would take it. If but they had iron in there, you might. Oh, you, might get... you know that the next thing is bugs? You won't eat the bugs as well, no? I don't think it's justified okay, even if enough. they have a small experience. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, so, I think uh, I have my morals and my reasons. What are they? What are your morals when it comes to animals? My morals are I would like to and I'm, I'm not able to control all the factors that are involved in this, but I, was, I would be a, I want, want to, for, for the animals to have, like, the most decent life they could have until they're slaughtered. Why? I know they have to be slaughtered for me to eat them. But why do you think they, should, they deserve a decent life? Because decency is not negotiable for me. No, and not for you. For everyone. We know I, I speak for me because I cannot speak you for were everyone. Eating them. You were eating them, but yes. why, why, why for example, from the animal's perspective, is it good to have a decent life? Because they're sentient beings. And I'm, you're going to be like, oh, hypocrite, but they are no, killing no, no, them. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah. Why should you, why is, it, why is sentience important? Because why is experience and sentience important? I, for us, when you're lo looking after your children, they are sentient beings, but because they cannot choose for themselves, you are choosing for them. For me, okay. cows are sentient beings. They you cannot choose if they're going to be killed or not. I'm sorry, darling. I'm going to have my steak. However, I would like for them to be treated well until they're slaughtered. Is that what, is that what compassion you're going to give them? Yes. Make sure you don't torture them before you kill them because it makes yes. me feel a bit bad. Yes. I don't care yeah. how you feel yeah, about being completely. killed. I don't think anyone can argue you out of it because you are just so in your box. No, and because this if, like, you, if you... You look like a tennis ball going from one, one corner second. to the other inside you are trying your to justify. Box. You are trying to justify killing and I'm trying to ask you not to kill. I will kill because I know eat animal alive so who's extreme here i think you're extreme i'm extreme we're all extreme no no no, no. One, second, one second one second perspective you think one i'm second. extreme i think you're what's extreme. more extreme killing the cow or leaving the cow live i don't think that any extreme in all of that so you, you don't think you killing have, is extreme no 
for me to eat. I don't kill them for sports. But you don't need it to eat. That's what I'm saying. I need you it to eat. You don't need it because you don't want. I need it to eat. So you would die without if I meat. Yes, I ask my doctor if I should eat meat. They tell me yes. I think that there is a cause behind what you're saying and what you're doing. I think if you put the message there in a more how how should I tell in you? In a will you stop? more wait in a more agreeable way. Would you stop? You will get better results. Will you stop because if I am being agreeable with you? You are being disagreeable just by the way you are talking to me. Tell me how I should say it to you right now and I'll say it to you. If you introduce the idea, if someone that eats meat, let's say, as you said, every day, if you introduce the idea like, why don't you try and reduce meat? This is why how they introduced to me. I was like, why would okay, I ask you to reduce killing? Why don't you finish it? No, I want finish. you to tell me. No, I want you to tell me how I can convince you to be vegan right now. Tell yeah. me how. First thing is, one step out of the way and you're trying to for me to go from a meat eater every day to whole like another extreme of not touching meat again and I think that's a very extreme people work in processes people so work how many steps do you need should I tell you you need as many as I need but so, every so step is progress you, you, to you, you don't consider any every step progress you think it's one way or the other so and this is where you're when? gonna when lose. When will you need? How long do you need? I don't know, but I want to so adapt. You're, you're not giving me a practical, uh, I want to tell you. When I came to you. this country, I ate meat for every meal I had. I started knowing nice people. I'm sorry, I'm not saying you're not nice, but you're very extremist. I started to know nice people that were willing to talk about their vegetarian and their vegan experiences. And I started to eat less meat. I'm not saying I'm ever going to be meat free but well, then, 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 there you go you just said it so, so it doesn't matter it, do, it doesn't matter how i address you that's the point the problem it doesn't is matter if i'm agreeable you're ignoring or process. nice is you that true you're ignoring you progress you just said you're never going to stop eating meat i so, said i so would it doesn't never matter stop. what i do i said i it would doesn't matter what I, I spoke to you exactly when? the same as i spoke to the last two people and you convinced them well i've convinced thousands wow, and thousands and thousands amazing of people to be vegan. the only thing leave I'm... in the comment section how many people i've convinced to be vegan just by great yeah, people but who care about animals but that's progress but do you think that the one day they stopped it's you it's you that won't change it's nothing to do with what i'm saying the thing is i'm telling you very... i will never stop when i came exactly. here i said i will never be like trying not to eat meat after five years in london i started to reduce the amount of meat because human beings change and what i'm saying is I, right now, I think I would never stop eating meat. But you are saying, if you're not willing to do the commitment right now, no, no, I don't no, 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 want... Basically, I want... you said you, I should be more agreeable and you would have changed. And then I, I yes, said, because but then you're you saying are... you're not going to change. So there's nothing I can say to you. I don't think and I'm going to change. that's why you're being defensive, because you don't want to change. But la five years ago, I didn't think I was going to it's change. Not my pro it's not my fault that you won't change. You won't change because you don't care about animals. That's the problem. Okay, see? <laughs> that's the problem. It's not you, my fault. You, you won't change because it's you. You are very aggressive in the way you put your um, commentaries. And this is why people are less... No, willing no, no, no. to listen and to like no, no. empathize with what you Shooting say because animals is aggressive I agree gas chambering pigs is aggressive oh cutting God, chickens see? heads off is aggressive you will never get anyone to like to change with this kind of attitude I'm sorry comment I, I, down below. I will go and see look at the comment yeah, section. what's your channel called Joey Carbstrong I will have a look at it and I will comment and you will see me yeah, so you think I'm too aggressive for people to change but the truth is is not nice uh, yeah I think the truth is not nice what you're yeah, paying yeah. for is horrible for the animals I'm defending them and you're saying I don't care I'm never going to stop eating them I'm never going to stop paying it. for their suffering you know it's the same thing I could be like trying to destroy your arguments with like very aggressive oh are you the animals advocate when did they hire you to defend them why did they, they ask they are vulnerable they can't that's what I'm saying I could use I could use very Neither aggressive can babies. I could can, I could use very aggressive and um, you would lose still because uh, what you're disagreeable doing is wrong. things to like destroy your argument and it's gonna be mostly silly but some people will be yeah yeah go for it Inesh. you but no I don't think that you could rationalize with like extremists and this is why it's exactly. hard to talk I'm to you. I'm trying to rationalize with an extremist but you think I'm it's okay glad, to kill I'm animals. glad that you think that even at meat after telling you that I'm trying to reduce the amount of meat I eat you think I'm an extremist so no, you told me you're never gonna stop I'm never gonna stop so what's the difference you're not gonna reduce and you're never gonna stop I love it so I love it talking? it's two different things uh, Look at a slaughterhouse. You look like a smart guy, but I don't think you, you know how to argue me, when you're... Tell me what's extreme, a slaughterhouse or vegans? What's more extreme? Uh, vegans are way more extreme. A sanctuary, Come on. A sanctuary Any, than a slaughterhouse. Anyone that's not vegan will agree that you guys are too extreme and this is why people don't stop to listen. You have nice arguments. You have 
compelling reasons, and I understand. But the thing is, you're very aggressive in the way you put your message through, and that's why it, it just makes people don't want to. Do you think cows think we're aggressive, oh, or do they think you're aggressive? I never spoke to a cow. And, I think, unless they, it's I like think I, I would agree that we're not aggressive and you are. I don't know. You cannot speak for a cow. I have to go. Sorry. Okay. Bless you. Thank you very much. Bless you. Enjoy. She was never going to change. It didn't matter how I approached that. She admitted it. She wasn't going to change. My attitude had nothing to do with her not wanting to change. Okay, she said she eats lots of meat, she likes a taste, period. Now, I'm extreme, vegans are extreme for not wanting animals to be shot in the head, head cut off, go into gas chambers. The moment I started talking about chicken suffering, she switched off, she doesn't want to hear that. She's cold when it comes to animals, but maybe if she actually witnessed it, she'd be different. I think it's easy to sit there and say, oh, I don't care about that, I don't care about their suffering, I don't care about the blood and fear in a slaughterhouse, until you see it. She thinks I'm ridiculous and extreme, but really I know exactly what she's trying to justify, and that's much more extreme than this conversation will ever be.